Hello everyone, my name is Clean Cup Gaming, and in this Cosmeteer tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to defend your ship in Cosmeteer. So, let's get started. So, for testing purposes, we are just going to launch one nuke at him completely unarmored. So if you don't want your ship to end up like this, watch until the end and make sure to pay attention. We can start off by repairing all of the damage. That was overly loud. The very basic form of defense is just the armor block. Line your ship with it, do whatever you want, make crazy shapes, and it's, it's just a little bit more sturdy than your average block. So now that we have added the armor, let's see how it holds up against the nuke. Yep. It didn't even damage any critical systems. So, I mean, I would say that's a huge benefit because, I mean, our cockpit before was completely destroyed, disabling our ship. Let's not relive that. But now you're far more protected. Let's see how it takes it on some of the corners. Aim. And fire. Okay, so that time we hit a thruster, and, well, the thruster wasn't armored, so it did a lot more damage. But, as you can see, this thruster wasn't damaged because the explosion got blocked by this armor, and we didn't receive much damage over here, either. Now that we have covered armor blocks, let's move on to shields. So, small shields. Project a shield, well, out in the radius that they show when they are powered. Now these can be worn down over time by a lot of attacks, but for the most part they completely, well, shield your uh, shielded area. I don't know what else to call it. Now let's see how he takes a nuke straight to the face with his shields. Did it work? Nope, I am completely facing the wrong direction. Turn it right around and fire. And of course I managed to hit the part that wasn't shielded. Try to aim properly and fire. Okay, so one nuke did knock out both of these shields and do a little bit of damage, but it didn't damage the shields themselves. So this one is already back up. So yeah, not bad. Let's test it out on a large shield though. So as you can see, this is a large shield generator. And as it said, it's very large. The only downside to this is that if you have something blocking it, then the shield kind of gets cut off. So you have to have this one out in the open, unlike the small shield that can project a shield through objects. So let's test this out. Fire the nook. And it did temporarily take out the large shield generator, but it did regenerate. And so by the time that this area has another nuke built up, then this one's already back up. Very nice. So the next form of defense is the point defense system. This will automatically shoot down any cannon rounds or missiles or mines or stuff like that, such as this one that is about to come and try to hit us. If you want something that can shoot down lasers, like the ones that these shoot, then you will want the flak battery. Unfortunately, you also have to supply the flak battery with crew, energy, and ammo. So, let's go ahead and see how the point defense system works. Let's slow it down. Lots of weaponry, or lasers rather, being shot. And the nuke detonated. Detonated, is that the right word? It exploded early. Anyway, it works pretty well. Well, I do believe that is all I have time for today. Oh wait, no, no, I have time for something else. 
Hold on a minute. So, just because it is in the defense category, I'm going to cover the fire extinguisher. It does exactly what pretty much every other fire extinguisher does. Someone goes, gets it, and puts out a fire with it. That's it. Very boring, but nonetheless important. Okay, now this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you believe this video deserves it, please leave it a like. It helps out a bunch. And if you want to get notified when I come out with new content, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Keep it clean, everyone.